All right, so our final talk for this plenary session um, is going to be from Jiyong Ni. Good morning, everyone. My name is Jiyong Ni. I'm a PhD student from Louisiana State University, and I'm also a research assistant at Louisiana State University AG Center La House. Today, I would like to present a uh, philosophy. Okay, let me introduce my team members as well. Like we have a uh, various uh, discipline, dis disciplinary team members, and we'll be happy to work together. Okay. So today, I would like to talk about philosophy for empowering geospatial decision support tool for flood mitigation and first flow height optimization. Let me start with the flood facts. Flood fact can cause by a bunch of the factors, like a, a flood can happen every single state in the United States and territories. And according to the weather-related fatality and injury statistic, an average of 104 people have died uh, because of flooding. National Flood Insurance Program projected, uh, projected uh, to pay off $9.3 billion in flood insurance interest rate payment by 2027. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Um, and flooding in Louisiana is like also a big problem. So as you may remember, Hurricane Katrina in 2005 is the one of the is the worst uh, flood event during the U.S. history, and New Orleans ranks fourth among metropolitan area at risk for flood surge and hurricane winds. And another fact is that after Hurricane Ida hit, Louisiana has to deal with the flood bills about like six hundred five fifty five million dollars. So how, how can individuals protect their home from floods and reduce flood risk? There are four ways to uh, con there are four ways to consider. The most effective way is elevating your home. This means lifting your home so the lowest part of the part is above the flood level. By doing so, you can significantly significantly reduce your average annual premium from uh, 10,500 to, to 600. Uh, next one is the implementing the base infill. This means creating barrier that prevent flood water from in entering your basement. This action can cut your average annual premium from 4,400 4, to 820. The next way is the raising machinery, machinery and equipment, which is considered as like electronic box or plumbing. So by raising them up above the flood level, you can reduce uh, annual, average annual premium drop, reduce average annual, annual premium from 4,000 to 3,300. 3, the last one is the installing flood vent. So uh, flood vent allows water go through your house so, so that you can reduce annual premium from 2,900 to 1,400. In, in order to make smart decision about elevating your home, you need to know uh, the concept of first floor height. So what is the first floor height means? The first floor height is uh, the lowest the, the lowest flow of the building above the ground nearby. But it is difficult to know what is the optimal first flow of height of my building, and it's hard to get the information of it. So in this project, we have four objectives. Our first objective is to develop a tool that makes it easier for Louisiana residents to make informed decisions about flood protection. Our second goal is to suggest the optimal first floor height to keep homes safe from floods. 
The second, uh, third object is provide cost-effective flood insurance solutions, and the last object is enhance flood resilience for Louisiana residents. Uh, so this is our website, uh, Flood Safe Home. This is the special decision support tool for flood mitigation part. So we support 20 coastal parish in Louisiana, Ascension, Assumption, Cameroon, Iberia, Jefferson, and any other and other parish as well. Oh, excuse me. <coughs> Our web-based geospatial decision-making tools involves three key components, WebGIS, front-end development, and back-end development. So WebGIS performs data in interactive web-based map. We utilize the power of the ArcGIS JavaScript API and ArcGIS server to handle geospatial files. For geocoding and address auto, uh, address auto fill, like we integrate the Bing Map API. On the user side interface, we use the HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and React.js to implement the user side. And we also use the um, Python and Django to implement the backend side. So behind the user interface, the back, uh, so API is tightly connect the WebGIS front-end and backend systems. So let me start with the backend calculation first. One of the important calculations for the flood safe home is the risk rating 2.0 calculator. Uh, it is the novel flood insurance methodology recently implemented by FEMA. Risk rating 2.0 represents a significant change in flood insurance. It considers a wide range of flood variables, such as flood frequency, flood type, distance to water, resource distance to the water resources, like a lake, re, lake, river, ocean, something like that. And it also considers the property specific detail. To calculate the risk rating 2.0, like we use the WebGIS. So this is the uh, data set for the WebGIS, but I will not go over the, in the detail, but I can introduce about the uh, more detail in this video. The video should appear here, but so <laughs> we are getting the user input by, like a user can type their address in the te input text box. By doing so, like we, we can automatically generate the auto suggestion things by uh, using, based on the Bing Map API. And we also check the free board requirement talk 12 ID and it would be better if I have, if I can show the video, but like, sorry for the technical issues. Maybe a system ID to ensure a comprehensive flood risk assessments. So on the right side, we can see the uh, console, log, this console log displaying the WebGIS result. Make it easier to assess, the, assess and interpret the result of risk rating 2.0. Another point is that we extract the raster pixel Oh, there we go. Okay, so this is the last, last, last image of the video, I guess. But yeah. So when user can type their address in the input box, and we calculate the distance to the stream, and distance to the ocean, and distance to to the river polygon, and any any other kinds of geographic context variable. And the the in the in the box, like you can see the some uh, result from the raster file. So we use this raster file like a one five year return period value, like uh, to the to calculate the pixel based Gumball flood parameter determination. So this is the best available flood data. Uh, we we check the we check the best available flood data will be country and then it contributes to the pixel-based representation of flood risk by feeding the inverse gumball to return peer, period elevation and annual excess existence probability. 
So another methodology is uh, elevating cost modeling. So we use, like, user can choose whether they, their home is the existing home or a new home. So for the existing home, we usually, we use specialized Louisiana model by uh, Dr. Fred Lenz teams. And we also, uh, for the new home, we use, in, we use the increase by 2.3% for each additional foot of freeboard. Another methodology is uh, Monte Carlo simulation for calculating annual, average annual loss and insurance coverage. Average annual loss is calculated by integrating flood event annual occurrence and the flood loss function across the range of flood elevation. The last methodology part is life cycle benefit cost analysis. We convert future costs and benefits into the today's terms, then compare the mitigation costs with expected benefits. And this is another video, but I also cannot play it, but like we are facilitating with the tooltip and visuals to uh, help user what is the meaning of the uh, this function and like we provide a lot of visual things. And we, we offer the diverse, arrange, diverse range of se selection of each in input so that we can provide personal, personalized experience that captured individual's needs. To insurance under, to, to yeah. And we, it, this form is seamlessly collect user in, information based on the multi-step multi form. And this is the, another step for the collecting the flood insurance options. So we ask whether they have a flood insurance or not, and how many times they claim the flood insurance, what is their like a building related cost or content related cost. And based on the user selection, like if they select the home type, like we ask like building related content, contents and context related uh, variables, but if users select the landlord, like we just provide option for the building related variable, while the, if user choose the tenant, like they just can, they just need to answer the content related variable. And we also get the financial page, and like this is the a sample of the API endpoint result, so we collect all the information uh, in the API endpoint. So there is another video, but yeah, and like, <laughs> yeah. So the front end result page is plus a form offers comprehensive overview of our freeboard cost analysis. It presents a user with concise summary, highlighting the key benefits of their flood risk mitigation choice. And the user can uh, use the slide bar to check their option for the eleva elevating their house. And so we, they can, so they, so they can explore their scenario as well. So, based on the home type, home condition, levy, and flood zone information, we provide three different uh, resort contests, contexts, and so, so flood safe home offers a range of the key feature and variable contribution in the realm of flood risk mitigation. We provide customizable solution for elevating the first floor height of your home and allowing you tailor, allowing you to tailor your flood risk reduction strategies. Our platform offers excel, accurate cost assessment whether you are planning new home construction or considering flood mitigation for an existing structure. So, and then user can easily calculate monthly cost payment allowing their aligning their budget with their chosen flood mitigation measurement. We are working on the, our website uh, user friendly, like a six year level, like they also can do in this website and then they can calculate the flood mitigation things. Uh, so once everything is done, we, we plan to deploy this website by at the end of this year. And hopefully you guys can assess this website and then um, yeah, give some feedback on it. And we also get plan to get the feedback from the user and so through the survey, and we try to expand our support area for the entire US state. 
And I would like to acknowledge, acknowledge the Louisiana Sea Grant for funding. And this is a reference. And if you have a question, you can contact me, or I can share the video with you guys. Yeah. <laughs>